showtime! The Capital G Show starts right now. What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, doing another episode of How Come Nobody Plays This Shit. The card I'm talking about in this video is Dimensional Prison, and I think it's a card that's gotten a bad rap. I feel like as soon as the format started, everybody dismissed it. They thought that the card was too slow, that it didn't do enough, and I think that it's severely undervalued as a card right now. You know, uh, when the format started, everybody kind of looked around after the dust cleared, and there were so many good traps that got hit. You know, no solemn judgment and bottomless trap on torrential going to one. Everybody was kind of in this panic. And I think a lot of duelists out there just threw their arms up in frustration and thought to themselves, well, time to max out Mirror Force and everything, forgetting that for a large portion of time, Dimensional Prison was considered superior to Mirror Force. But now, if you even bring up the thought of running D-Prison, it's like you told people that you think Jacksonville Jaguars are going to the Super Bowl, and it's like, you know, don't discount the card completely. You know, it's still good against Zim Mains and Lead Yoke and Vayu, Stardust, Zephyros the Elite, Abyss Lynn, Maestro, you know, that Blazing Fire Ferret thingy, things that you don't want hitting the graveyard or obviously things that can offer themselves self-protection, you know, cards like Lead Yoke and um, Stardust Dragon, etc, etc. And one of the things that I've noticed is people seem to be extremely hesitant to banish the Dragon Ruler cards when they're playing against the deck, you know. Obviously they're thinking, okay, if I banish these things, they're just going to search for more cards, so I'd be wasting cards. The thing about D-Prison as opposed to Mirror Force is it's pretty much the perfect counter to the Dragon Ruler monsters. You know, if your opponent summons a Blaster or a title and they try and threaten your monster with an attack, D-Prison is like the perfect card to capitalize because 95% of the time, if they have those monsters on board, they've already used that Dragon's effect once summoning it. So if you banish it with, with uh, Dimensional Prison, it's not going to trigger twice. Now, of course, there is that other 5% of... You know, maybe they tributed a Dandelion token, or maybe they happened to use Redox's Monster Reborn effect. But for the most part, D-Prison on a Dragon Ruler monster is a really good play, as opposed to something like Mirror Force, which is pretty much a useless card in that matchup. Sure, you might get rid of the title or the blaster that turn, but the question is for how long? I mean, unless you plan on winning the next turn, you're probably putting yourself in a very bad position because, you know, that dragon going to the graveyard, all that's going to do is fuel further dragon plays. That just gives them another card to remove for Redox or Tempest or whatever other dragon that they want to summon. You know, if you use Deep Prison, for the most part, that dragon is dead and gone unless your opponent uses DDR or their one copy of Return from Different Dimension. So it's a lot harder to get the cards back. You know, I feel like uh, also if you look at that specific matchup, Card Trooper is a bitch of a card to deal with. You know, many times I've had people threaten a Neo's Alias or a Thunder King Ryo or a Shura with that card. And it's always, it always is a card that kind of puts you in a tight spot. It's like, do you want to use removal? Do you want to just let your monster die for nothing? D-Prison keeps Card Trooper perfectly in check. He doesn't hit the graveyard, so you don't have to worry about your opponent drawing cards. And if you're playing against a deck like Dragon Rulers and you just D-Prison your Card Trooper, well, your monster is protected. Your opponent probably probably just wasted their normal summon and their battle phase on that card trooper and then best of all they can't remove it later in the game to summon something like redox now i'm not making this video to kind of throw dirt on mirror force or to say that it's not a great card because it is i just think that dimensional prison is a great card too but it really doesn't see much play this format and you know there are a variety of situations where mirror force would be the ideal card between the two but in my personal opinion, most of those situations involve one or two things. Um, either the opponents or the duelist that you're playing against overextends and you just happen to capitalize playing the mirror force, getting like a plus one, plus two, or whatever that situation may be. Or the second situation where your opponent is looking to end the game and they need to summon another monster. Or, you know, they just happen to play a deck like Karakuri or something like that where you know that's just how the deck plays the deck plays where otks happen all the time and they're just going for game and you happen to catch them sleeping and they don't have something like a trap stun or a forbidden lance or a naturia barkion or something like that but i mean i think that they're a little too situational you know again mirror force still a fantastic card i just think that d prison 
is definitely worth looking at especially considering when you look at the best deck of the format being dragon rulers the card is so much superior in that matchup you know it's so much superior against the mermail deck you know uh, against black wings it's pretty much even and then neither card is good against prophecy because prophecy don't really care about that because they have wisdom so let me know what you guys think maybe i was just completely off base on this topic and uh you guys think that deep prison is ass leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching subscribing makes life happy